Hi guys, welcome back to RT Share Tea. Reverse performing therapist live out loud with me, your host Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes, welcome everybody. Welcome to anyone new. And today we have a special episode because I have new guest co-hosts, and they are family. Yes. <laughs> So we have, uh, we call ourselves Team Lion, the siblings, my brother and sister here today in celebration of National Siblings Day, which just passed us a few days ago. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves and we're going to get into the topic, which is navigating asthma allergies together as a family. Siblings speak. <laughs> so who wants to introduce themselves first? I'll go first. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Patricia Nozar Ballard. I am a mom, a wife, and an entrepreneur. I own my own business full time that I operate from home. I'm happy to be here on the Asthma Ladies podcast. <laughs> and I'm excited to talk about what we had going on in the past as well as what we deal with now um, as far as asthma and. Yes. Oh, gee, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Definitely. What's going on, T Drink? Because this is Gino's art. I am the brother of Linda and Patricia. Um, I am an administrative nurse and um a dad, a brother, and just a caregiver in my own way. And I'm so excited to be here with you though. Yes, T Lion. <laughs> All right. So yes, yeah, so we just, like I said, just celebrated um national siblings day so we just put out all the pictures and we i was able to you know find like the old pictures of us back in the day and it really had me reminiscing and thinking about having an episode like this where i have the siblings um discussing our childhood and that's pretty much the tone of this episode and so and the stories and i also don't want people to think that uh, as the asthma lady, I make up my stories. Like these are real things that happened in my life as a childhood. And because I'm the oldest, they may not remember this because they are younger than me. But um, they could, I mean, they could tell you if they remember or not. So I'm I'm going to start with a story. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they if they remember the stories. So um, one of them being, uh, a, uh, we all went to Catholic school. So, um, being the oldest, anytime somebody did something that they were not supposed to do, I got the call. It, it uh, um, if someone didn't bring a pencil, uh, <laughs> I was being called, um, if Gene forgot his utensils, yeah, like pencils, um, if Trish was falling asleep in school, so the school would take me out of my class <laughs> to come to the class that they in to tell me that they did not do something. And I'm like, but what about my education? <laughs> I was like, because now I'm out the class. So I don't, do you guys remember that? No, I, I don't. Oh, so you don't you don't remember falling asleep in the second grade or throughout the second grade? Well, you know, I there's no nap time. time. I do appreciate a good nap. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's, we, that's, we, that's, that's the first, but, but second I didn't, grade, there's I didn't no know nap they, time. I didn't know they would pull you yeah. out of class to, mm -hmm. to tell you that about what I had going on. Mm -hmm. They would make me come uh, to the class to come see you sleeping in the class. I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? She probably did not have sleep apnea at that time, though. So that's oh, just my gosh. And I'm pretty Jean sure. didn't have a pencil, and I had to leave my class to bring him a pencil. Me. I I just did not. I knew you had him. You know, I, <laughs> like, I knew you had him. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm sorry the education got a little cut short. But... <laughs> you look like you're doing well. You look like I, I could not believe it. Just didn't make sense. And as a parent, well, I only have one, so I don't know if 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 they still do that now with the with the siblings in school. But um, yeah, that was very annoying. I was <laughs> like very very annoying. 
But uh, in regards to, okay, so going into asthma and 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 allergy talk, um, I know you guys are not gonna remember my stuff, but when I was eight, I was eight years old when they started to diagnose me with asthma because I was having some serious, um, I just couldn't breathe and I didn't know where it was coming from, and I remember the day. Uh, mom and dad had to get the um the pump for me and um that was also the day we also I think the day after uh we ain't had no lights <laughs> so I think they they just they had to make the decision to get the medicine because I didn't have the medicine for a few days so I was drinking this I don't know if mom and dad ever made you this tea um if y'all ever if uh, when y'all had gotten sick I don't know if y'all ever had it it was this nasty tea did it have it onions, in it? onions in it? Yeah, it had yeah. onions <laughs> and honey. Gar gar garlic yeah. honey. It was so but it nasty. But it, it worked. worked. It did work. It worked. Yeah. It, the sinuses right up. Yo, I mean, it for was. me, it only worked for like a few hours. They had to keep giving it to me. It did, but it was so nasty. And it had to be hot. You had to yeah. drink it mad hot. Do so you I'm remember just... how old you were? At that time? Yeah. When I was, at, I was yeah, eight. Eight years old. Okay. That's when it was getting real bad, and it was giving me that. And then, um, yeah, when they got the 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 inhaler finally, yeah, it was like there was no lights. I felt like they made the decision, like, oh well, <laughs> and we had to do the homework <laughs> next to the lights. The no, the um, the, the candles. candles. Yeah, we candles. <laughs> right. No, people, people be thinking I'm lying. I'll be no. like, no, oh, we no. we always had candles. We on always had yes, candles on deck. On yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's no excuse because they're not gonna tell you there was we couldn't say we're not gonna do the homework because there's no not. life absolutely not um we they were paying for the education correct with the oh, catholic yeah. school we had yeah. to go oh, very pricey <laughs> we kids in catholic school so yeah I, I totally totally remember that and i remember my teacher she saw like the little um burnt edges of the yeah. loose leaf paper yeah. the she yeah. tried to ask me a question and i just this is, it, what, I had the homework. Don't ask me. What, I gave the homework. Yeah. It was oh, done. No social services. Right. That. Okay. The right. homework got done. That's what I said. The homework was I done. got paid. Yeah, that's, right. That's not not on time, but <laughs> you wish you got paid. No. We got a lot of those stories too. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, so I definitely remember that. I didn't know if you guys remember that, but that was definitely uh um so. a memory. I remember um one time uh playing with your inhaler. I didn't know what it was, but it would make that that sound. And <laughs> um think mom got mad at me. Uh, I definitely don't I'm remember definitely. that, but um I definitely remember going in on the Flintstones vitamins. I remember that. I got in trouble for that because I opened the Flintstones and we was eating it like candy and mom but they, was but they tasted like candy though. They, yeah, they, she they she told us she gave that, me the business. You no, know, this is not a threat. She yeah, because and then I gave some to you guys, and then the whole bottle of Finstow vitamins was a wrap, and it was that was that, that was, was lit. Not... That was <laughs> like, it's, it's... I definitely remember that. Um, you guys still probably don't remember because while we were sharing a room for like a long time, and then Gene, because he's the only boy, finally got his yeah. own room. Mm -hmm. Um, but there was a point where we were all sharing the room, and then I had to sleep, share the bed with mom and dad because my asthma was really bad that year. It was like you guys probably don't even remember that, but for like almost a year, I had to sleep in between them because they thought. I was going to die in my sleep. And I remember they was just like, yeah, just stay in the bed with them at night. And then um, because my asthma was really bad then. So I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was, there was a time I, I when. That one. Mm -hmm. Then Gene when you, when got you say, mm -hmm. When you say that, Linda, just uh, the, the, when we think about how asthma can take away the, the lives of young people, or old people, just, um, it's a serious condition. And um, just transitioning to you know, parenthood now and having children, and my children don't have asthma, but they do have um, allergies. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it, it's, it's bothersome. Maybe you have some tips of how I can help um, 
my kids, I'm in uh, the Georgia region and Holland is high density, like That's really, crazy. really bad. So I didn't know um, how bad that was. It's bad. It's a, you can it's see visible. it. Yeah, it's, it's visible. And so um, it affects uh, my, my middle son, um, William, and uh, my daughter, Annalise, in which mm -hmm. they uh, sneeze a lot. And nice. um, uh, I know that when we go to visit you, you, um, you know, being the asthma lady, you, you <laughs> prepare your home uh, for us. Um, and uh, you do you do so much. What is um, just uh, you do so, Listen, so much. Let me tell you. So I anybody that have these type of issues amongst siblings where, you know, older with kids, the communication is definitely important. So Jean will give me the heads up that they are coming. And I already know, because I have a cat in the home um, and my guest room is, let's say, uh, not utilized that often. So it's, it becomes a second closet until I have guests. <laughs> so I have to dust um, the room very well, run the air purifier, and um, de just, just uh, remove anything that collects dust in the room, boxes, remove all that uh, to prepare for William and Anna and these type of visits. So that's done well in advance and making sure that I have additional things like eye drops and allergy medications on deck because I know William for definitely always needs some type of eye drops or, uh, um, yeah, allergy medication. So I definitely prepare in advance. So thank you for no pop-ups, Jean. <laughs> I can't I can't well, yes 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 and then with Trish we have Malachi who has the food allergies um that one was a little more challenging mm -hmm. because I, I feel like his his food allergies change is it shifts but almost like right right I have to, I feel like I have to keep asking you like okay so what is yeah. he allergic to now you know right Mm -hmm. So Malachi has been allergic to so many different things over the course of him from being a baby. Um, it's gotten a lot better now, but he has severe food allergies. So no seasonals, like he doesn't have the running right. nose, the eyes, so nothing like that. Thank God that would have been double. Okay, on baby. top of that, right? Right. So we don't deal with that, but food allergies from when he was young, he was allergic to everything, milk, rice, eggs, uh, a lot of fruits and nuts. <laughs> Uh, but the worst one was peanuts and y'all know he can't oh eat to the point where we can't even we can't take him to like um a stadium for like a baseball game because they they eat a lot of mm -hmm. peanuts at baseball games and it's just like in the air he will fall out he would ha he would immediately have an attack so um yeah his peanut allergy is very high on the the list of allergies like his range is like very bad mm -hmm. so we have to go hard with making sure he has the EpiPen. We always have to mm -hmm. like pre, uh, like mm -hmm. we just talk to people right. in advance. Like, listen, he cannot even, you know, get too close to someone eating peanuts or, you know, if, if someone just had a Snickers and talks to him too hard, that might <laughs> cause yeah. him to catch a reaction. Like it's, it's pretty bad. So that's crazy. Um, and they, they do change. They right. do change. Get so I, I feel like as the auntie, I have to keep asking. I always make sure I ask, wait a minute, can you eat this now? <laughs> and now that he's vocal, he's vocal, exactly. he can tell me. Um, I think that's the scary thing is when, of course, when they're babies and young, they can't vocalize right. like, listen, I can't eat this or I don't know. Right. Um, recently, we, Trish and I, we um, had an issue uh, because Logan, who is my my two year old, um, who's not allergic to anything, um, he he does he's a picky eater, and um, he doesn't like to eat a lot of things. But he is starting to play with different textures as far as food, and so he loves peanut butter now. So here, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so challenge um so Which now he loves peanut butter it's not like 
Oh, he likes to have it every day. No, he this boy <laughs> loves peanut butter by, by the right. Like he likes peanut a butter. lot of yeah. So I so so we had an issue not too long ago where uh, we were visiting my mom and my mom. Oh wow, I forgot uh, <laughs> our, <Yes>. mom. <laughs> our mom. Our mom. Right. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing this for too long. Um, so yeah, visiting mom and then uh, forgetting that Logan had a snack prior to the visit. He had pretzels with peanut butter. And not realizing that when we went to go visit, Trish brought Malachi over to mom's house. So everybody's there to see grandma. Mm -hmm. So here, Kai, not Malachi, not seeing, loves to pick up Logan. And here, while he goes to pick up Logan, I realize Logan has peanut butter on his pants. Mm -hmm. Ah! So we're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Luckily, I spot it. I look at Trish. Trish look at me. I'm like, Trish, we're looking at Kai. We, we're like, we're trying not to make a right. scene. And we're like, Kai, do you feel okay? I'll hurry up, change Logan's pants. Luckily, I always, you know how we moms do. Logan is a messy kid. I always bring extra clothes. That right. is the yeah. lucky, lucky that I did that. Switch out his pants. And I don't know. Luckily, I don't know. Kai was just fine. I was... Very yeah. nervous. You know, I need to. We were watching him. I, I know yeah. all day. I was like, I, I was like, Trish, you might have to bring out the EpiPen. Yeah. I was like, yeah. so by the grace of God, we did not have to break it out. We had a good day. We were. He was fine. Fine, yeah. laughing. Uh, I think I was the one. I was the one that had to take my asthma pump after laughing so hard. <laughs> right. Them belly like yo. When we get together, yeah. when the nose starts get together, we laugh it's so good, hard. Man. It's a good. And I never, good. yeah, man, I never want to take my pump in front of y'all because I don't want people to get worried about me. I go. I mean, because you're the, the bathroom. Go to the car. Yeah, I mean, right. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go to the car. Go to the bathroom. Take my pump, and I come back and go back to having a good time. I just don't want to ruin the fun i guess you know what i'm saying so it would be fun and fun but we would kind of be like uh you're usually <laughs> you have to control that situation so what are we yeah doing? i i just yeah i just want to keep the party going right <laughs> so i don't want to you know but i i appreciate you guys and i think i when i put the post uh for siblings day i definitely said that i appreciate the fact that you guys are never like making me feel like you know Oh, she just, you know, or, or never. I've never felt that from you guys. Like, oh, she trying to, I don't know, attention or you know, that she she, she trying to stop the party. Yeah, I don't even understand what you're trying to say right there. Right. Like, I, I, I feel like, like no, there are people who do stuff like that. I don't. I don't feel like we ever do that. But okay, there are people okay. who do that's stuff not like team. That. That's not team. No, that's that's yeah, right. we. That's that's not cool. Well, anyway, I I enjoyed this episode, and you know, this was just like a. Just to just to give folks uh an idea of what it looks like to have to deal with these different issues across like with food allergies, seasonal allergies, asthma, um, and 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 just the different perspectives we each have with dealing with these things. Okay, guys, so here's your chance to plug anything going on, Trish. I know you got the business. Plug, plug, yeah. plug away. Yeah. Okay, so the business is called Extraordinary LLC. Uh, we're a natural hair care product line. Uh, we specialize in healthy ingredients and easy application. You can check us out on www.extrahair.com. We also have a Facebook group that you guys can join. Just search Extraordinary on Facebook. Mm hmm Extraordinary. <laughs> yeah. So, all my edges grew back. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Gene, you got anything for us? People yeah, I just want to say how how proud I am of you and Trish for the way on your on your platform and just how you just I raise awareness you. for asthma. You got how many episodes now? Like you across yes. the hundred, right? Yes. Oh, wow. One oh one. Great. <laughs> yes. And um just so happy. And just been um, reading this book. It's been giving me uh some uh, thank, thank inspiration and, and, and uh, <laughs> guidance with asthma control, doing it. 
Um, so yeah, just keep up the strong work and, and yeah. thank you for being here. Yeah, the episode oh. was really good. And 101 ain't nothing to play with. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice. It shows discipline, right. consistency, and exactly. I know that the asthma space is happy to have you um, as the asthma lady. We know you as Linda, but you are the asthma lady. So. Oh, thank you. My, my, my security system, my support system, my family. So I couldn't be, I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. And I really, really mean that. Um, yes. But anyway, so yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much for you guys for being here with us. I love you guys. Thank you for your time and kiss the kids for me. And guys, thank you so much for being here with us and chiming in. Remember that we are on most podcast platforms, podcast platforms on Wednesdays, and we are on YouTube on Thursdays. Thank you so much. We are growing together. Yes, so much more to come. And remember, guys, to invest in yourself and to only compete for your skin version of you. See you next time. Bye, guys. Later, y'all. <laughs> Bye.